accessing uh, the garden of uh, the church. It's a paradise for cats. The garden uh, used to be a vegetable garden uh, for the monks of the church and it uh, also used to be used uh, for the production of uh, medicine plants. Here we have uh, the Chapel of the Sun, seen uh, from uh, the outside. A gallery of uh, citrus uh, trees, oranges and uh, mandarins. Lemon tree and uh, water fountain uh, in case uh, you should be thirsty. You can see how uh, the people who live here and whose balconies look onto the garden are very lucky. This is uh, the true meaning of uh, the expression uh, historic urban landscape. I couldn't really grasp it before I came here, but it's uh, super clear to me what it is now. We have uh, people uh, living around the monuments. Gardeners uh, who uh, work here love their job and they know how lucky they are. Here uh, the crafty uh, gardeners uh, still uh, make their wine. So, Mr. Alfonso, who uh, is uh, one of the custodians, one of the guards here, was uh, telling us about the history of the garden uh, since it's uh, been under his care from the uh, year 2000, since the year 2000. And he was telling us about uh, past uh, events and uh, shows when uh, the city council had a little bit more money. Uh, this guy here is Mr. Antonio, but his nickname, however, is uh, Marcellus. <laughs> Other people call him uh, Marcellus. So if you come and visit the place, uh, ask him uh, to show you around. Obviously, we are all Naples fans. The church uh, used to be so extensive, it went all the way around to the tower that you can see in the back that is known as uh, Caserma Garibaldi because uh, it was a space that uh, Garibaldi, uh, the hero of Italy, took over with his troops when he came to Naples. And it is now part of uh, Naples uh, Tribunal. Uh, Antonio is uh, going to give uh, Ludovica a little gift. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is uh, the gift, a uh, citrus uh, that can be eaten uh, with the sugar. The perfume is incredible. This is uh, our goodbye shot. Uh, this is uh, not Verona, but uh, it's been nicknamed Juliet's Balcony because Romeo would climb up.